in psychology. So what we're going to talk about today is every time you go to talk, everyone in here almost is in the service, some type of service field, selling, and, and you have to, you know that you have to, sometimes the difference between making that sale is the relationship that you build with that individual. And I almost want to say that's all the time, unless you get a certain personality that's just so focused, they're all logical. The other 75%, we're going to say it's about that relationship, getting that built. And doing that right up front is kind of hard to do, you know? If you only got a few minutes with this person, then building that relationship is kind of fast or hard. But if you've got a, you got a, you're in the business to where that relationship's going to be built a little bit before they buy, then you got a little time to do that. And so what we're going to talk about is how to build that relationship kind of quick using person, the person's personality. Now, next time you see somebody and you're getting ready to make a sale, the first thing I want you to do is ask yourself, who am I talking to? Are you talking to the person or are you talking to their personality? Mm -hmm. The answer should be the personality because that's where the relationship's gonna come from. And here's how I'm gonna define the difference. If you have one little spill that you give everybody and you got these branches that come off of it, if they say no to here, I go to here, no to here, I go to here, then you're talking to the person because everybody that comes up to you, that's how you do it. But if you have, if you're walking up, you talk to them, you wanna ask them a couple questions, you wanna, you wanna just ask them a few questions that's not business involved, and there's some keys that you can figure out what their personality style is. And that's who you wanna have. You wanna have at least four different methods of your product. So if you're selling a car, you wanna have one that goes straight for the technical, because some personalities, that's all they wanna hear. You've got one personality style that wants to know about relationship. You got another one. They want to be in charge. They want you to know they're in charge and they just want you there for questions. They don't want you to intervene a whole lot. Mm -hmm. And you have one that's more kind of a passive. They're going to, they're going to just wait. They, they got the questions. They'll ask you when they're ready. So what you want to do is that's your approach. You can't, if you run up on somebody that's passive in nature and you just talk their ear off, you're going to push them away and you're not going to get referrals. But if you do the opposite, that person will more than likely refer. Hey, go to this guy here. I went there, he didn't bug me at all. He answered whatever questions you want to go to that person. So we're going to talk a little bit about those personalities. I'm going to put my eyes on here. Okay, how many of you have children? How many have grandchildren? Husbands? Wives? Okay. <laughs> They all got different personalities. Well, there's a couple, there are a couple of guys in here. They all, they all have different personalities. You treat one child, you love them both equally, but you, you talk to this child different to get them to do something than you do this child. Yes. Yeah, well, customers are the same. Don't think that we change just because we got older. If anything, it got worse. You still have to talk to us a certain way, or them a certain way to get what you want, to, to provide that information. So here's my personality style. I am. Uh, are you all familiar with DISC? Yeah. That's what I use. Because DISC is going to tell you their, their behavior, how to see it, and then what you do. And what it's actually doing is talking to that person's personality. And that person go, man, I like that person. Or, you know, I don't like that person so much. And it's because of their personality, the, the environment they were brought up. So for me, and we don't have time to go through all four. For me, I'm a, I'm a C. I am one of those conscientious persons and I kind of stay focused on numbers and everything like that. I don't want to be bothered a lot. So this person, what happens is I don't talk that loud. I don't talk that fast. So when you see a person that doesn't talk that loud and that fast, they're going to either be somebody that's looking for relationships or they're a technical person. Someone that talks real loud and they talk real fast, they're looking for just the opposite. They're not, they're not into too much of a relationship. They know what they want, or they're really, really social. Yeah, they're really, really social. They have a lot of energy. They're really, really social. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> and for some of us, and for some of us, that would be hard because if you're the type of person that's really outgoing and everything, and then you come up on me, you're naturally want to be there. You think that in order to help me, you have to be there and all that, and it's just the opposite. You'll, I'll usually stick them with my wife while I'm actually going off and actually looking at the product and I'll come back and then I'll ask the questions. So with that type of person, you just want to ask them, if there's anything I can do, let me know. But here's some of the technical things on this. Here's some of the numbers. 
and then be able to back it up and then kind of just leave them alone. They're not into meetings or anything like that. Just kind of leave them alone. And that person will come back to you because they feel that that's an atmosphere that they can come to that's not threatening, it's not tricky. I'm really questioning and skeptical. I want to know who you are, and if you're just throwing a bunch of stuff at me, I think something's wrong. I honestly do. While other personalities, they want to get to trust you, and then you can tell them anything because they trust you, and then you're gonna, you're gonna, they're gonna go ahead and purchase that product. So, think about a person, and whenever I want you to think of four people. I'm going to describe them, and then you can just kind of write their name down or keep it in the back of your head. But the person I describe should be someone that you know. So if you have a person that is outgoing and questionable, I want you to think about what it takes to, to sell them something. That person will talk real loud usually, and they may talk fast, but they're questioning and skeptical, and they're really outgoing. They may do a lot of networking. So the next time someone walks in your office or you're talking to them, you ask them a couple questions just to kind of find out that information, and then you sell it to whoever name you wrote down. Picture that person mm -hmm. as the person that you just described. And that's how I do with everybody. I look at someone and we're talking, I go, I know you, you're my sister. This is the only way I can get my sister to buy something or whatever from me, <laughs> and then that's how I approach it. So that's what you're gonna do in your business. The next one is someone that is very outspoken and they're warm and accepting. That person is the go-getter. They're always doing something. They may pile a whole bunch of stuff on their plate and can't get to it all, but they're always wanting to do something. They're really active. They're looking for relationships. They're out networking also, but they're really outspoken and they'll talk real fast. And they may not be as loud, but they'll talk real fast and loud. Now write that person down. So the next time someone walks in, go, okay, that's my brother or somebody like that, and this is how I would treat that person. And you'll be surprised, these sales will go along a lot better. You'll have couples, and one of them will be different ones, of course, and you just pick kind of which one you're gonna go with. Figure out which one is the one that's gonna buy and charge, if that's possible. And then you make sure that you nail their personality style. You gotta make them both happy, but you nail that person's personality style. Now the next one is, uh, a person that is warm and accepting and they're kind of reserved. <clears throat> you see them, they're kind of quiet. They may not approach you right off the bat. You'll have to definitely go to them. That person is looking for a type of relationship. They're not gonna open up until they build a relationship with you. So figure out who you have in your family or your friends. And then when you see someone like that, they, they'll talk slow and they'll probably speak real low in tone. And then the next one, of course, is someone that's uh, questioning and skeptical, and they are uh, also reserved, and that's more of me. And the reason why you probably don't see that person when I'm in front of people is because I know all of this, and I know how to <laughs> kind of overcome it, and I know when to pull it out. And I know what type of personality style I need to exhibit when I'm in a group or when I'm with a uh, when a with an individual. And that's what you kind of need to be. You need to be a chameleon, and then you need to change, adapt to the individual that you're trying to uh, make that sale to. Now there's nothing unethical about this, it's just those different personalities are expecting a certain outcome, a certain information, and with this information on their personality, you can deliver it up front instead of going through all this drama and maybe running them off. And then, like I said, once they like you, or if you hit it on the head, then what will happen is they'll refer you whether they buy something or not, because they're gonna remember, well, I had a pleasant experience with that individual, and then they may send you more information. They may send you more clients. So that's my kind of spiel on, you wanna make sure that you're talking to the personality. We're not all bad people. God just made us that way. <laughs> not bad people, they made us the way we are. Yes? What was that called? DISC, D-I-S-C. And uh, if you want more information on it, you can email me. Uh, because my leadership uh, business, I still do that stuff. I can email you to the website and any information on it, I can get that to you. We'd be more than happy. I still do those, the profiles, the consulting on that and everything. It's just not my primary job right now. Any other questions or anything? Really good question. This works 
This works with your husband, wife, boyfriend, girlfriend. <laughs>